Hello everyone, Chad Gibson here from the research team and I'm going to share with you our Lesser Cell and Dye Management Plan at Lewis Township and how you can help. What is Lesser Cell and Dye? Lesser Cell and Dye is a highly invasive species that creates a green dense carpet and covers our forest floors early spring. Their yellow flowers will start to emerge around St. Patrick's Day and it will begin to die back around mid-May. It spreads by seed and by bulbs. Bulbs or bulbs are the picture on the right. Both can be transported by waterways, boot and tire treads, and by ungulate hooves. This is why it spreads so fast and is such a successful invader. Our main goal concerning Le Lesser Sondine is to stop the spread onto our Lewis Township property. To attain this goal, we will need to be on the lookout in spring for lesser celandine on our trails, along waterways, and in our pastures at Lewis Township. If we find lesser celandine, we need to report it to dentist and act immediately to eradicate it. We did a study in the Oak Hickory Woods on the Indian Hill property to find our best management practices for Lewis Township eradication. We had three blocks, all consisting of one hand removal plot, three herbicide plots, and one control plot. We tested two different herbicides, glyphosate at a high and low concentration, and met sulfur on methyl. Based on our study, we concluded that doing a hand removal first, and then coming back roughly two weeks later to use the lower concentration of glyphosate for a spot treatment would be the best option for eradication. This will also limit our use of chemicals. The lesser celandine that is dug up during the hand removal portion of the eradication needs to be burned on property so that we do not contribute to the spread. What can you do? Well, we need everyone who goes to Lewis Township to be involved. We all need to clean our boots and tire treads before we leave Indian Hill to go to Lewis Township. If you go to Lewis Township during the spring, you can easily help by double checking the areas you are in for lesser cell and dye. If we find it, the very next thing we should do is report it to Dennis so that he can begin to eradicate it. We will repeat this process every spring unless the lesser cell and dye invasion gets beyond our control. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out to the research team and we will gladly follow up with you.